Excuse the interruption, I'm Daniel Grandy. Jessica, what do you think of Mr. Sewer's idea to only give drop tests in economics this semester? I'm Jessica Tubner. I think it's a good idea. It'll force us to stay up to date on our assignments instead of waiting until the night before a test to start cramming. It's for our own good. A lot of kids are complaining, but I think he may be on to something. Are you kidding me? I think he's on something. I suppose you don't care if he stops grading on a curve either. The only people who worry about having a curve are the people on the bottom of the curve. What if Katie doesn't understand supply side theory? Wasn't it you who was having trouble with that? I just wanted Suter to clarify how it would affect the tax rates on my long-term capital gain investment. Welcome to ETI, boys and girls. Today we have What's the Word, Mail Time, and an interview with Mr. Hagler. We'll start off today with the girls' district seatings. Jessica, how do they look? Well, I think in the last few weeks, the district seatings have got a lot tighter. I think with our win over Benson County and our recent loss to Rolla, I think the top seeds will definitely come down to the February 12th game versus Rolla and Benson County. I agree. It's anybody's district so far. I'm not sure that any of the seeds have been decided yet. That's why you play the game. Daniel, have you noticed the even scoring on both the boys' and girls' basketball teams? Yes, I have. Interesting, isn't it? Speaking from the boys, we have four players, I believe, that are in double figures, and a fifth that is right around eight or nine points a game. We have one through nine guys that are capable of going off at any night. And the girls are just the same with six players that are capable of doing that, and they're all right around the same scoring mark. Yeah, our team has a pretty balanced attack. All five starters average between 15 and 7 points per game. Jessica, what role do you see the 8th graders playing this year? Well, I think both Jaden and Johnny not only provide fresh legs for you starters, but I do think that they both run the floor pretty nicely. I agree. They help out a lot with our depth and they can spread the floor with their shooting. But you can tell they're 8th graders at times because they act pretty panicky. Now let's move on to our next segment called What's the Word? Hi guys, first question. Bearcats home games are? I'm going to say passionate. Our fans are always loud, we have a great group of fans, and the gym is always packed. I'm going to say loud. I think for the most part, our gym is always packed and the fans are always cheering loud. Next question. The girls win over Benson County was? Important. Our victory over Benson County was very important. It put us in a promising position for a high seed in our district. I'm going to say solid. It was a really fun game to watch and a good confidence builder for our team and it can't hurt us going into the district tournament. Final question. The boys loss to Beulah was? Irrelevant. It was a loss, yeah, and nobody likes to lose, but it really didn't mean anything. If anything, it makes us fight harder. I'm going to say surprising. I did not expect the Miners to come out on top as they did, especially how last season ended. But I do agree with you. The, the game didn't matter, and you guys will get him next time. Time for a quick timeout. When we come back, we'll be answering some mail. All North Star Boys home games will have highlights posted on the night of the game. You can find them on YouTube about one hour after the game is over. Just use the search tag NHS Boys BB 12. Welcome back to ETI. Now it's time for mail time. Our first question is. Panther Cub writes, should the girls basketball team be ranked? Um, this is a borderline question, I think. We have one big win over Leeds while they were ranked, and one district loss to Rala. I'm going to say that we should be receiving votes, but I'm not sure that we're quite ready to be ranked yet. High Plains Drifter writes, should there be a super region? Uh, no, I think it's fine the way it is. It's tradition, and it benefits the local schools who hold the district tournaments. My thoughts are, why fix something that's not broke? And our last question is from ND Lines Fan. He writes, which district is better, 7 or 8 in girls basketball? Um, I'm going to favor ours, but I think that 7 is a little bit better. Uh, the top teams in both districts are right around the same caliber, but I believe that 7 is a bit deeper with by one or two teams. Alright, now time for a quick break. When we come back, we'll have an interview with the head boys basketball coach. You can check up on your favorite team all winter long by watching webcasts of the reigning District 8 champions, Lady Bearcats, only on NHSPN. 
Welcome back to ETI. Now joining us, we have head boys basketball coach, Mr. Hagler. Welcome, Mr. Hagler. Thank you, Daniel. Mr. Hagler, how does the boys schedule fare the rest of the year? Well, um, beginning last Saturday, actually pretty difficult. Uh, we traveled down to Carrington, who was rated number seven in the state. Uh, last night we played the uh, state nine-man football champs, uh, a pretty physical game. And then tomorrow night we have Deluxe Burlington, who's won, I believe, 11 or 12 games in a row, and then finish up on uh, Saturday in Grand Forks against another very uh, talented physical team in Cavalier. Okay. So... How does getting Aaron Bergdahl back affect the boys basketball team? Well, getting Aaron back gives us some added depth. Um, I, I still don't think Aaron's quite 100 percent, but uh, you know the fact that he's a senior and, and has been around and uh, he, he's able to give us two or three minutes here and there, and if we get him to remember to shave all the time, we'll be in good shape. <laughs> all right, sounds good. So I am told by a few very reliable sources that words with friends just isn't your game. Would you care to elaborate on that? Well, the difficulty with that is I actually use words that come from the English, English language, whereas most of my competitors use gibberish, so to speak. So if we would actually play a game where you have to use words that they know the meaning of, uh, I'll be in pretty good shape. Okay, thank you for joining us today, Mr. Hagler. Thanks for having me. Now it's time for the Big Finish. Yeah. Jessica, I heard you guys got some new practice jerseys. Yes, we did. They're very nice. They have uh, the girls' basketball logo on, kind of like yours. And yeah, they're just nice to have another one. Daniel, so what do you think of the new mascot? Um, it's cool, I guess. It screams team spirit and was a pretty good donation. But I'm not really sure what it is. It kind of looks like a wolf to me. Jessica, how about that freezing weather we've been having? Yes, not fond of the frigid temperatures, but it's winter. What can you do? Well, that's it for this edition of ETI. We'll try to do better next time. I'm Jessica Tupin. I'm Daniel Granny. Good night, knuckleheads. Good night, Candy.